Mr. Welty, What's nice up, to girl? see you today. Okay, that's a little What's inappropriate. How are you doing? But um, I'm glad to see All that right. you're you're here. I've been trying to contact you for several weeks now to come in. Yeah, you know, um, they shut the phone off and all that stuff, whatever. Okay, um, so we're here today to talk about your son, Stephen. Uh, he's, he's a sitting, badass, right? He's, he's we're talking very, about how badass he is? He's a very nice boy. But um, he seems to be having some trouble in math. Uh, I pulled a couple of samples of his homework for you to look at. What 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 am I looking at? I don't even. Um, last time I did math, I don't even know. Well, um, <laughs> it just looks like Stephen's not really finishing his homework, and um, I just wanted to ask if there were maybe some distractions going on at home that were keeping him from really focusing on it. Well, I'll tell you the distraction. Boy's living his dream, playing football. He's a star. That's what I'm saying. He's going to college. Going to going to get a full ride. All they gotta get is C's. So what okay, can I do? But C's. Sir, We're what, talking C's. He's, That's he's all in, I care about. He's in second grade, so we really need to focus on the foundation subjects here. P pump, pass, and kick champion. We're talking about. Okay, I don't even care about the foundation. All I'm saying is that you treating him a little bit. Oh, because you're jealous about his skills. I don't know. I don't well, know what it is. You know, I try my best to, um... What's it going to take? Is it going to take a little bit of money? Um, and sir, I I do not feel appropriate uh, taking any money from you. Um, so I just See, would like to ask maybe that you put a little bit more focus on Stephen's math studies and maybe his other studies as well. Boy doesn't need to focus. Boy's focusing on what he's focusing on. I'm trying to make that boy state champ. When he goes to high school... A boy's going state champ. Well, I and I don't want to get in the way of any of that. College he's gonna need to know math to go to school. No, he doesn't need to know math. When you all you need to know is the X's and O's, baby. All you need to know is the X's and O's. Okay, sir. Well, I don't want to get in a in a heated discussion with you. I don't so. want to get in a heated discussion either. This okay, is, well, this is a waste of my time. I'm wasting my time. Maybe it would be good for Stephen to see a tutor, perhaps? A tutor? How much is that going to cost? About $1,000 a week? You know what? Week? I would be happy to tutor him after school with your permission. Oh, I bet I'd leave him right after school with your ass. I don't even understand this. Okay, well, would you feel more comfortable with uh, maybe having a meeting with with someone else in the Yeah, room. I'd like to talk to somebody right now who knows what the hell's going on. Okay, well maybe we I don't can even make know our, this. Maybe we can make our way over to the principal's office and he can sit in. I'm trying to tell my boy is stupid and kind of My boy it. knows exactly what the hell's talking about. Alright, 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 son. Alright, baby. Alright, alright, I'll talk to you later. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Welty? Hi, right, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sorry I'm a little bit late. Yeah, I've been waiting here about 30 minutes. So, um who's your kid again? Steven. Steven Welty? Steven. Oh, yeah! Steven. All right. Well, you know, Steven is just, you know, he's not doing very good. He's not. I understand. I got his report card. You yeah. know, I, I'm i going to be honest with you. I don't think he's that bright. And, I mean, he has some trouble talking to the uh, other kids. Excuse I think me. He might... Excuse me. That yeah. bright? I think he's a very bright boy. Well, you know, he might be bright, you know, he his skin is very, you know, light colored, but, you know, he just, he does not do well on his schoolwork. So, I just, I don't know what you're going to do about it, but, I mean, that's why we're here. Well, maybe he finds that the class is a little bit distracting. Uh, well, I don't know what would make you think that. My class is very, very straightforward and very... Well, can I see a little bit of some some of his schoolwork? Maybe some papers that he's done bad on that oh, we, I, I don't, look at? Oh, I don't. I don't keep any of that. I I just I you know I read it once and I grade it and I pretty much toss it. I don't really like to carry a lot of stuff around with me. So. Wow! Wow! Um. So, okay. like I said, it's it's pretty much in your court. So I'm just I just want to hear what you're you're planning on doing. Well, I think that the boy for, would benefit from a little bit, you know, extra attention. I I don't understand why. Sir, I got I got 25 kids in my class, and I can't devote any time after school. I got stuff to do. I yep. you know I got a night job at a bar, and this is I part just... of your job to understand that some kids may be a little bit slower than others in getting material. Well, you know what, uh. Some, sometimes, you know, we this all... This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Can I... Can, can we do some kind of tutoring? Some kind of... Some kind of after-school program where he would stay late and maybe work with another teacher that can maybe help him with math? Well, you know what? I don't really... I'm not allowed to do that because then, you know, it would take up other teachers' time. But, I mean, this is... This is what not to do in a parent-teacher conference. 
and we will show you next how an appropriate teacher conference will go between a parent and a teacher. Next time on Dateline. Mr. Wilson, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 5.30, right? Yeah, right on time. All right. I've been looking forward to this. Good. Thank you so much for working with me on a scheduled time. I know we had a little bit of a problem there. No problem. No problem. All right. Well, we're here to talk about Stephen, who's a wonderful boy. Um, he seems to be struggling a little bit in math. I have some work samples here for you to take a look at. It oh, just thank you. Thank kinda you. Kind of looks like uh, yeah. he's maybe having trouble getting his answers. So. Yeah, I see that. Um, so I mean, there's a couple hmm. things we could do. Um, obviously, I know you're very busy. Um, I can offer some tutoring after school, perhaps for him, if you're interested, or there are extra. Little assignments I could send home that would help him in his problem area. So we can do some of that, but I just wanted to know if there was anything extra going on at home that might... You know what? I, I think it's just the fact that he has a little bit trouble focusing. Um, he's a really bright boy. Uh, but I think that... I don't know. He just He's, he's, a, little, he's a little distracted. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, maybe more assignments just to make sure that he knows that this is important. Um, All right. Um, well, I have a list of tutoring times uh, that there's many, so hopefully you can fit some of those into your schedule. Great, great. Um, Thank you very not, much. If not, I'll be willing to maybe set aside some extra time. Um, but other than that, Stephen's doing great. He uh, has lots of friends. He's very sweet, and he is very polite, so you're doing a great job. With He's him. not too much of a handful, is he? Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, um, that's pretty much it, unless you have any questions. Um, no, not really. Just want to make sure that he's uh, kind of getting on the straight and narrow, you know, because we value grades in our household very much. And All right. Well, again, thank you for coming down here to meet with me. And thank if you, you have any questions, much. give thank me a call. Much. And uh, thank you very much see for you around. With me. All right. All right. Take care. All right.